Hello and welcome to Youth TV, made at APC. This is our first edition ever coming to you from Southgate. Coming up, we have a feature on GTA 5. News and competition and a short documentary, plus a feature on events for Black History Month in Enfield. Now over to Chanel with this edition's news. A 23-year-old man was stabbed and robbed in northwest London on his way home from Asda early hours of the morning. He'd been out shopping for the latest title in Grand Theft Auto video game series and was robbed by his purchase by the attackers. He was later on taken to a North London hospital where he's currently in a stable condition. We think he was attacked on Prince's Avenue by multiple suspects, although it is unclear how many at this stage. All pupils at infant schools in England are to get free school lunches from next September, Lib Dem leader and Deputy PM Nick Clegg has announced. The charge for children in reception year one and year two will save parents about £400 a year per child. Mr Clegg has said targeting infants would ensure every child gets the chance in life they deserve, as well as teach them healthy eating habits and boost attainment. Free primary school meals for all pupils were one of the recommendations of a recent review of school food by two founders of the Lyon restaurant chain. In relation to the art war in Syria, the UK is now willing to send experts to the country in order to help remove the regime's stockpile of chemical weapons. UK Foreign Secretary William Haig explained, We will not be sending specialists as part of an international team, but the UK troops would not be used to protect them. Several countries, including the UK and US, have blamed Syrian President Bashar al-Saeed for the attack, which reportedly killed hundreds of people. The US and France had threatened to respond with military action. Guy Whittle got the fright of his life when he discovered an eight-foot-long crocodile hiding under his bed in Zimbabwe. The 40-year-old slept with the 150-kilo beast lying quietly beneath him for more than eight hours after it snuck into his lodge. Thankfully, the croc didn't snap as the unsuspecting Mr Whittle dangled his feet over the bed the next morning as he went about organising his day. That's this week's news. OK, up next we have a GTA feature, so over to the Double Ds. This week we bought Grand Theft Auto V, available in all good stores. The game was created by Rockstar and is billed as the most expensive game ever made. Buy it and you'll see where the money's been spent. The game is ultimately a role-playing game, or RPG, that glorifies crime, violence, money. The game features three playable characters, Mike, Trevor and Franklin, brought together by a chain of events. You can control all three characters at various points within the game. There are quotes, one from Billy from Guildford who said, Mum and Dad will get the game for Little Johnny and even though it has an 18 plus age rating they will subsequently blame the game if Little Johnny loses the plot, although the core of the problem lies with themselves for buying the game in the first place. Other quotes come from Sarah from Southgate who said, I love how the game is 18 plus while it is clear the majority of players will be underage teenagers and children. Most grown-ups will play the games, but they will not be interested in the stupid single-player simulated worlds of violence with no underlying meaning or strategy. Parents, if you want to buy an exhilarating escape from reality and want to immerse yourself in one night of freedom, free from law, then buy and watch The Purge. Please don't buy this game for your children. Buy it for yourself, but please remember it's a game, not real life. True. This game is hallmarked as the most expensive game ever and will probably be the best selling in the series to date. However, despite all that, the game has attracted a lot of bad press. Therefore, the call is on you to decide whether you're mentally mature enough for this type of game. Ask yourself one question. Do, Do you, you feel, feel lucky? lucky? If not, buy FIFA, much more fun and 10 times safer too. Final rating for the most expensive game ever made, we have to give it a solid, but not amazing, seven out of 10. Purely because it's morally wrong, we couldn't give anything higher than that. Thanks for that. It's competition time, so now over to Nadine. Now, are you ready for this week's competition? This week's prize is a pen. 
Now, this is no ordinary pen. This is a Bic Biro. Wow. All you have to do to win this fabulous prize is answer this simple question. What is half of two? Is it answer A, 6.1? Answer B, Bob? Or is it answer C, one? If you want the chance of winning this amazing prize, then you need to email the address on the screen now with your name, age and answer. So, if you're feeling lucky and would like to win, drop us an email. Good luck with that and we'll announce the winners in our future show. Terms and conditions apply. Now we have a short documentary about Brimfield School 6th form. Hi Algina! Hey Shad! You right? Yeah, you? I'm good. Come back next year. Hundred percent. Same here. I love it here. So do I. Like absolutely love it. Here. I know. It's everything. The people. The teachers. Yeah, same. Here. It's just amazing. And the friendships like that we've all built together. I know. Like we've made so many new friends, and just, like everyone's so supportive and helpful and friendly. Yeah, because when you're in year eleven to year twelve or six form anyway, it's just such a big step. It because is. Because in year eleven you get so much help mm. and you have the teacher support, but then in year twelve you're literally like that. You're going up way too fast. It's made me feel really independent, but the teachers are still there for us, but. I just feel so much more grown up now. I feel like we've had, we all, I just have extended family members yeah. and literally if I need help or anything, I'm upset. I just have like 3,000 other, well not 3,000, just 100 people yeah. <laughs> to help me. To help us, you know what I'm <laughs> Did you see the new layout? Yes, I love it. More chairs, more tables, but a little bit of space could be great. I know, but I think it's just beautiful. It just looks so much better now. And good. did you see the garden as well? I know, I absolutely love it. Best pit. Best it's pit. amazing. With the sunshine. Revive, do work, Get chill out. Time. It's amazing. I know. Do, do you, you guys, guys want to have a look? look? They did shout. I think so too. <laughs> Please come and have a look at our official school website at Broomfield Enfield. The link is below. And come and have a look at what we can offer you and join our school. Finally, let's look over at what's going on in Enfield in the coming weeks. Hi, I'm Elizabeth and I'm here with Peter who's going to tell me a little bit about Black History Month and the events in Enfield for young people to go to. So what is Black History Month? Black History Month is about the celebration of black people within the UK and broader as well. Um, within Enfield, basically, uh, each year we have uh, several events around the borough that um, support the, the rise of the awareness of black people within Enfield and the rest of the country and historically as well. This year, Enfield Youth Support Service is going to be um, doing a Black History event at the Unity Hub Craig Park. Uh, unfortunately, it falls just outside of the October month and that's going to take place on the 2nd of November. Um, there are many other events that um, take place within Enfield and there is a lovely little brochure mm -hmm. right, that tells everybody in Enfield about what um, events take place for Black History Month within Enfield. So is that how young people get involved at the Black History Month events? Uh, if they want to get involved, they can go down to Unity Hub at Craig Park in Edmonton and see what they can offer to the performance that will be done there, which includes dance, music, uh, spoken words, and a few cabaret acts. Leading up to the event, there is going to be a exhibition that's going to be taken around to all the different youth centres within the borough of Enfield, and is going to feature artists from within the borough, some of their paintings and drawings, 
of uh, famous black people throughout the ages and the artists are going to be there to actually talk about the work and what's inspired them to do their, their, their pieces of work. The first one starts at the Alan Pullinger Centre on the, on the 14th of October and throughout the month. This exhibition will take place at all the different youth centres across the borough of Enfield. Great, thank you for the information and uh, for the interview. I hope everyone has a great Black History Month. Thanks for watching. If you want to get involved in making this programme or you have any comments, suggestions or ideas for news stories, features or interviews, get in touch with the email address below, youthtv.apcgmail.com.